What's up y'all, it's your girl Melissa here and welcome back to my studio. So, as you can see by the title of this video, today I'm gonna be telling you guys how I got the opportunity to create two new paintings for TIFF. Yes, TIFF, and if y'all don't know what TIFF is, it stands for the Toronto International Film Festival. TIFF is a pretty big deal because all the celebrities, all the movie stars come through to Toronto to showcase their new films. It's a huge festival every year. So this opportunity was super exciting for me and I'm so excited to tell you guys all about it. So as most of you guys know, if you've been watching my channel or if you've seen my videos, I am a visual artist. You can see some of my paintings in the background. I make pop art portraits based on black culture and pop culture. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button so back in september and i know this video is super late sorry y'all i suck at uploading on a decent schedule but i'm working on it i'm working on it anyways back in september i got this email from someone that i met at an art show that i did in February for Black History Month and they said that they got an opportunity to curate an art show for TIFF. So full disclosure, this event wasn't technically like a part of the film festival schedule, but basically it was like an after party type deal that was hosted at the Thompson Hotel, which is a hotel in downtown Toronto. So the curator reached out to me and she's like how she loved my work. She's been following me on Instagram and she's creating this show that showcases Canadian artists so she asked me to be a part of it and obviously I said yes because who's gonna turn down that dope opportunity basically it was me and three other artists who were a part of the show and we would each get to showcase up to four pieces and there'd be like a bar and like photos and DJs it was gonna be a vibe so obviously I let her know that I was down for this, thanked her for the opportunity, and I was ready to go. And at this point, there was about a week or two before the show, and I quickly had to decide what pieces I wanted to showcase at this event. At the time, I didn't actually have a lot of paintings in my possession. Like I had sold a few, some were like elsewhere. And really the only two pieces I had that I wanted to show were my Michelle Obama painting and my Nipsey Hustle painting. But to me, like those two weren't enough. So off the whim, I just decided I'm gonna create two new pieces for the show because it'll just look better and I was in the mood to create some new artwork and this was just the perfect opportunity. The rest of this video is going to be showing y'all the behind the scenes of basically the week leading up to this event, all the madness that happened, and the process of creating these two new paintings. But first, before we get into the creation of these paintings, I had a couple errands to run for my art business. So the real deal of being an artist is opportunities just pop up in the middle of your schedule, but you, there's still shit that you gotta get done. So I had to go pick up some prints from my printer because I still had orders that I had to package and fulfill. You know, I can't just leave my customers hanging like that. So the first thing I had to do that week is go to my printer, get my prints. I also went to Michael's to get the canvases that I would need for these two new paintings. And then I basically spent the rest of the day packaging orders for my customers. Yeah. <laughs> Roll them up.
y'all. So at this point, I had finished all my responsibilities and I'm ready to start these paintings. But first, I don't know if you guys remember from my last vlog or if you see my last video, the light bulb in one of my lights was broken. So I finally got the new light bulbs in the mail and it was perfect timing because I needed this light to film the videos y'all are about to watch of me painting these new paintings. So, by the way, in case anyone was wondering, my whole lighting setup is from a company called Cowboy Studios. That's where I get my lights, the light bulbs, the umbrellas, all that jazz. But anywho, that's not important. Now, let's get into what you guys came to this video for. So, the two paintings that I made for Tiff are of none other than Lizzo and Drake. You guys know me, I'm a huge, huge Drake fan. Like, it's kind of crazy how much of a fan I am. I've done so many paintings of him, it's crazy. But I decided to do another painting of Drake just because of the theme of the event. Like, the event was about celebrating Canadian artists, and Drake is probably one of the biggest Canadian artists out there. So I felt like he was the perfect representation for Canadian artists. So that's why I felt it would be perfect to paint him. And like, when can you go wrong painting Drake? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I decided to paint Lizzo because obviously she's amazing. Like she is just killing the game right now. She's out here representing black women. And you know, that's what I'm all about. And her movie Hustlers was actually featured at TIFF. So I'm like, this also fits the theme, it's perfect. So yeah, I decided who I wanted to paint, but the most stressful thing about this process was that I only had four days to create these pieces. Four. And usually it takes me like a week to do one painting. Let's just say I had a lot of sleepless nights during this process. I crammed, crammed to get these done, but I got them done. So yeah, enjoy while I create these two new beautiful masterpieces.
it. It was like the day before the event and I still had a lot to do. And that's because that weekend ended up being a super hectic weekend for me because I was taking a trip to New York literally the day after this tip event. So while I was prepping for TIFF, I was also prepping to go to New York and like literally we were leaving from the TIFF event to drive to New York like the next day. Like I wasn't even gonna have a chance to come back home or anything. The whole thing was just probably the busiest week or two of the year for me. So yeah, that's why I had to make sure I was looking extra fresh. So I made sure to go to my barber and get a haircut. Like I mentioned, I would not have had time before to get this outfit, but went to the mall, I found the cutest jumpsuit ever. I'll definitely show you guys. But yeah, I definitely have to go through to one of my favorite stores, Zara. Zara, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up, hit a girl up. <laughs> but yeah. So got my haircut, got my outfit, rushed home, and then I started prepping to go to tip. Basically by now my paintings are dry so I just had to like put the finishing touches on them, you know how I do the black edges. I also wrote the titles and signed the back of the pieces. And this was like just in case they sold. Usually I don't have high hopes for sales at art shows. I know that sounds weird, but like every art show I've been a part of is more of just like a showcase, not really to like sell stuff. But really you never know, you can't predict the future, right? So yeah, I had to just make sure everything was clean and looking perfect. All right y'all, so now it is the day of the event, the moment we've all been waiting for, also the most hectic day ever. Um, so like I mentioned to you guys, I was showing four pieces at the show, my Michelle Obama, my Nipsey, and the Lizzo and Drake paintings that I just made. So I already had my Michelle Obama original painting ready to go, she's actually right there as you can see. But I didn't have my Nipsey piece. The Nipsey painting I made, I actually sold the original, but the piece that I was showcasing at TIFF was a canvas print. I ordered my canvas prints from this place downtown, so yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm on my way to Toronto right now to drop off my paintings. I also have to pick up my Nipsey canvas prints that I'm also showing at the event tonight. So yeah, I have to drive all the way to Toronto and then come back, get ready, and then go down there again. So hectic, hectic day. I got back home from dropping off my pieces at the venue it was literally a mad rush to get ready because like I had to pack I had to get my outfit I had to do my makeup like all packed and ready to go all packed and ready to go <laughs> so I didn't get to vlog a lot of that but as you can see like me and my sister we have our suitcases because we're literally I'm not joking literally driving to Brooklyn the next day so that day I also had to go and rent a car for the trip because there was no way I was taking my raggedy Pontiac Sunfire all the way to Brooklyn on this like 10 hour drive. <laughs> so we packed our things and hit the road to go turn up at TIFF. 
For this TIFF show was just a vibe, you guys. I was there with my friends, my sister, my art was displayed in like this really nice room with all the other artists. And it was like super packed. There was a lot of people. The organizers did an amazing job. They had like two photo booths set up. They had a bar and each artist that was featured in the show got their own table with bottle service. So like, kind of felt like a star for the night because you know, me and my friends were turning up with our bottle service at our table and stuff. Like, it was lit. It was really lit. Like, I was really thankful to be part of something like this. I had a lot of great feedback from my art. I met a lot of dope people and it was just a good time. I didn't sell any of the pieces, but like I mentioned, like it was more like a showcase than like an art fair. But I did hang out a lot of business cards. And later on, the event just turned into a party. Like the DJ was lit. Everyone was just dancing, drinking, having a good time. I was just happy to be there, happy to be a part of it. Happy that someone thought of me for this. So that was my experience participating in an art show at TIFF. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the behind the scenes of this whole process, this hectic week. And the hecticness didn't stop there because like I mentioned, we took a trip to New York the next day. And of course I vlogged the whole trip. So if you're new here and you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can see my trip to New York. And it wasn't just a random trip to New York. I actually had an art show in New York literally the day after this tip event. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Literally, we drove to Brooklyn that morning and I had an art show that evening in Brooklyn. So if you want to see my Brooklyn art show, subscribe and stay tuned for my next art vlog. It's gonna be lit, trust me. Like, I don't even want to spoil this Brooklyn vlog for you guys. But let me just say it, Lil Kim is in it. Oh, Lil Kim is in this vlog. Oh. I'm not gonna say I met Lil Kim, but like, I was in the room like, and not just look, you know what? I'm saying too much already. I'm saying too much. Just You just have to subscribe to see. I'm sorry, you just have to subscribe. That's the deal. <laughs> so crazy. But yeah, I'm just telling you, you won't want to miss the Brooklyn art vlog. But yeah, that's it for today, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Do you like my two new paintings of Lizzo and Drake? Which one do you like more? Lizzo, Drake, honestly, it's hard for me to choose because obviously I like Drake, but I really like the intricacies of my Lizzo painting too. So you guys decide which one you like better. But um, thanks again for watching this video and I'll see y'all in my New York vlogs. Stay tuned, y'all. Peace. Thank you.